talk about being creative. Being creative. What do you guys know about being creative? Huh? Using your imagination. Using your imagination. I want you young people to begin to use your imagination. Think outside of the box. Think outside of the box. Close my door, son. Close my door. Thank you. I want you guys to think outside of the box. I want you guys to start thinking about being creative. What is it that I love to do? What is it that I was born to do? Draw. Draw? Yep. Be a scientist. Be a scientist. Draw. Be artist. I don't want you guys to start thinking about working. I want you guys to start thinking about creating a job, being creative. God has given you guys gifts and talents, abilities that he's given nobody else. But it's up on you, it's up to you to pull those gifts out, know what they are, and apply those gifts. Apply those gifts. Take action. You're young right now, so it's a great time to start thinking about what is it you want to do, what type of jobs you want, what is it that you want to create in life. Break barriers. Don't do what somebody else did. Go beyond that. Go beyond that. Don't think small. Think big. Think big. Think about being the first person out of your projects to do something extraordinary, something brilliant. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what is it you want to do? Be a scientist that create new things, like new elements on the, uh, the, the chart of of yeah, be a scientist. What is it you want to do, young man? Not a scientist, but an inventor. An inventor. Like Those are all great ideas. What about you? I want to be able to draw and make new things that people uh, know about. You want to draw me too. and make new things. That's great. What about you, young man? Movie producer. Producer, movie producer. And you want to be a movie producer. And, and I want to be a movie you? star. You want to be a movie star? Yep. Good. Yeah. Well, listen. The things that you guys want to be, it's all possible. It first starts in the mind. A thought becomes an action, and an action becomes a, a behavior. So you think about it, then you take action. You go to school for, for what it is that you want to do. Then after that, it's just a behavior. You just start doing it. You start doing it. But there are going to be obstacles and challenges. There are going to be people that you're going to meet in junior high school and in high school that are going to try to take you off course. Situation, situations are going to come and try to take you off course. But you got to get the weeds out of your life. Hanging around bad people, hang, hanging around people that are doing the wrong thing. If you want to be a scientist, you need to start hanging around people who think just like you, young man. That's right. If you want to be a creator, an artist, you got to start hanging around artists. Artists don't hang around drug dealers. Artists don't hang around people that get high. Scientists don't hang around people that get drunk. Scientists don't hang around people who don't go to school. You got to you got to surround yourself with smart people in order for you to be smart. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, kind of using my imagination. Some scientists do because they um trying to do an experiment on them, like. Absolutely. Yeah, well, scientists, I mean, they experiment on other people, but what I'm saying, at the end of the day, their friends, their, their, their closest colleagues are other smart people. Great minds hang around great minds. That's why I selected this group. You guys are a special group of young boys. You want the knowledge that I give you. When I say let's come to class, you come to class. Other kids run, they don't want to come, they play around, but you're soaking everything up that I say. Last week we talked about emotional intelligence. Yep. Who remember what that is? Mm, what is emotional intelligence? When you let your emotion get in your brain. Emotional intelligence. When, when you have complete control of your emotions and when you know what to do and what not to do with them? Absolutely. Absolutely. He said it best. Emotional intelligence is when you what? Have complete control over your mind. Have complete control over your emotions. And the situations that are set before you. You are in control. Your neighborhood does not define you. Your friends does not define you. The poor community that you grew up in does not define you. You define you. If you think you're great, you're great. If you think you're from the ghetto and you're nobody, you're nobody. Both of them are true. 
You control your emotions. You control your thoughts. You control your ideas. Don't allow anyone to supplant bad ideas in your mind. Don't allow anyone to tell you what you can't not be. I am a living witness. Born and raised in the project. I could not read until I was 23 years old. 23. But I've been in 30 movies, produced four movies, and I've written a book. Because I changed my thinking. I literally incarcerated myself by thinking that I can't do nothing. Because I cannot read. That's self-imposed limitation. That was limitation that I placed on myself with limited thinking. Hopelessness. I had little or no regard for other people. So I self-incarcerated myself. Incarceration is not always physical. It's mental. So when people say I can't do this, or my mama never did this, or my dad wasn't there, making all these excuses, that's self-imposed incarceration. I want you to know that. So if you fail in life, it's solely upon you. There are no excuses in life. Winners do not make excuses. They look at the error and they make corrections. You understand that? So I was able to look at myself and say, you know what? I gotta take school more seriously. I gotta discipline myself. I gotta learn to read. And even though I struggle with dyslexia, I accomplished my goal. I attained my GED. And that was a big obstacle for me. So if I can do that, Think how much more you can do that. You can read better than me. Every boy in this class could read better than me. At your age, I was not reading. I could not read at your age. Think about that. I didn't know how to spell the, though, through, none of that at your age. Dyslexia. So people laughed at me. My mom and them called me all kind of names, dumb, stupid. So I didn't want anything to do with school. But I still incarcerated myself because I allowed someone else to define me. Never again would I belittle myself. If God did it for you, he can do it for me. But you have to have the will and the determination to, to go out and fight for what you want. Nobody's going to give you anything, people. The Calvary isn't coming. Nobody's coming to help you, young man. Nobody's coming to help you. It's all upon you. It's on you. You've got to fight for it. So make your parents proud, make yourself proud, make me proud, and go out and accomplish great things, okay? Have a good day. Good job.